year nine. If you're watching this video, it's because you are interested in looking at drama as a GCSE. Now, what I wanted to do in this video is just to show you some of the things about the studio that you might not have experienced before, and you certainly haven't experienced this year. Um, and also then I'll tell you a little bit more about the full course, how it's assessed, and the kind of experiences that you would have being a drama student. So this is the main drama studio, this is HD1. Some of you will have had lessons in here um, previously in year eight, some of you will have been next door in HD2. GCC drama lessons usually take place in here um, for the, the main lessons um, because of all the facilities that we have in this room, but next door is also fully equipped with a lighting rig and sound um, system, things like that as well. Okay, so if we just have a bit of a look at this space, You've got the, um, the raked seating, um, which I'll show you in a little while. Yeah, I'm sure you've seen it before. That's brilliant for performances. So in GCSE drama, as you would expect, you do create and take part in a number of performances along the course. Some of that is for your own skills and development, um, and some of that, that is for assessed pieces. Okay, this is our stage space, but it's really versatile too. So when we're not doing performances, um, and I'm teaching you about different ways to act, about different theatre practitioners, about different ways to answer exam questions, we can use a space in lots of different ways. So behind me here, you can see on the wall, there are groups of keywords. So we have around the room the keywords that you need to learn for your literacy and drama, and to help you to describe and articulate the drama pieces that you want to create and in your written work. When we want to create performances, then we can just close those curtains um, and create this as a stage space. Now, also we have what we call the wings. So any of you that have been involved in the big school productions um, of recent years, Fame, Les Miserables, you'll be used to those terms. So the wings, it's the places you hide in off stage when you don't need to be seen. In the drama studio, we have portable wings on either side that we can get out to help this be more of a stage space. So you don't just have to kind of walk off and stand at the side when you're not on, on the stage. Now, we also have the stage blocks you might be used to using that can create versatile performance spaces in the room or outside and give you those levels, and we use those too. Now, you might be wondering what this is. Now, in GCSE drama, you do have two option routes through. You can do GCSE drama as a performer you can also do GCSE drama as a designer, or you can do it as a combination of the two. So you might do some of your examination pieces as a performer, you might do some of them as a designer. Now in your designing, you could look at lighting, you could look at stage design, set, or you could look at costume, and we have a number of things to help you with that, which I'm gonna show you in a little bit more detail now. So when creating your performances, as a designer, you could use this, which is a bit of kit called Stage in a Box. And you can create yourself a stage space. You can use these to create your set. Um, you can use all the blocks and things to create levels and height, which might show us the kind of things that you want to use in your set. And you can position your people on the stage and you can use the lights to, to highlight kind of the direction of the lighting and where that's, gonna, where that's gonna come. And all of that can help you to plan than if you want to realise your design in the big stage space. We can also use this when planning our own performances and working out entrances and exits and positions on stage and what they're going to look like if we're going to document those in a portfolio as well and we can take photographs. So this is a really cool bit of kit to be able to play with as well as just kind of trying it out in the big space. Now this is also permanently set up in the studio. It's a much smaller version of the big rig that we have in the Devon Hall. This is a lighting desk and in GCC Drama you can learn how to use this if you're going through as a designer and want to do lighting design um, and you just operate these switches here to turn the main um, power on and then you can choose which of the lanterns in the studio you operate with the switches here. Um, and it's really easy to work out how to use and we can train you to um, make your own lighting designs and then also how to program it um, and to run a show. Equally, if you're doing the performance route, you also may want an interest and an input into the design and the lighting of your piece. So everybody gets to use the, the lighting desk, not just those people that are doing the design route through. Okay, now GCSE drama is not all just playing about in the studio. There's a lot of things to consider when you're deciding if this is right for you. You'll be assessed in three different components, whether you do the performance route or the design route or a mixture of the two. 
Now component one is a devised piece, and the devised means you make that up yourselves. So you'll have a lot of training first on different acting styles, um, on how to create character, on how to create pieces, on how to create impact for an audience. Then you'll be given some stimuli, which are um, things to generate ideas. So it could be a poem, it could be a concept, it could be a picture, it could be a news story. And you'll work in groups to be able to create a piece of theatre that communicates something to your audience. That came from that original idea, but that's really important to you and communicates theatre in the way that you want to, to create a message, you know, what you want to say to an audience. And that could be funny, it could be serious, it could be sad. Um, you do get, um, you do perform that piece um, and that's recorded and that's marked for your final grade. Um, and alongside that you need to create a portfolio of evidence about the process. Um, now that's not something we leave right till the end, you do create that throughout the process and it's documenting your journey, so the ideas you had, the times when you tried something and it didn't work because that's really important too um, and how you refined that and went forwards from there. And we pull all of that together and the combined grade for your portfolio and your performance is worth 40% of the GCSE. Okay. Now if you are a performer in that, obviously you talk about how you created your character, how you created the ideas and you perform in the final piece. If you're a designer in that process, then you do the same. You talk about your design input, how you added ideas, how you helped to communicate the messages through the symbolism you created through lights or costume or set. Um, and then you actually do that for the, um, for the actors in the final piece. Okay, component two is a actual performance from script and there are two performances to do, one in a group and one either as a monologue or a duologue, so by yourself or with one other person. Again, you can perform that or you can design that for one of the groups. Um, now I will choose the scripts for that, we have a whole range of scripts that we use and, and I choose those each year determined for, um, by the, the people that we have in the groups and the things that would best suit them. So you get to practice with lots of different scripts um, and then you will create those, those pieces. Now, in a normal year, they are produced for a visiting examiner. An examination performance day is really exciting. We have all the seats out, you invite your friends and family, and we have a visiting examiner that sits at the front with one of these tables and is very serious. Um, but the performance itself is really exciting. Um, and again, that's, that's months of work and rehearsals to create the performance to be the best that it can be um, for you. And again, you either perform in that or you create the design to support that performance. Now the final aspect of how you're assessed at GCSE Drama is a written exam, but the majority of that written exam is based around a play. Now the play that I do currently is DNA, which is a really exciting play about a group of young people um, who create um, a huge mistake and they get themselves in all kinds of trouble and they make the trouble worse and it's, and it's how that kind of outplays. There's some really interesting characters in there and we explore all of that practically. So imagine when you're having to kind of come up with an essay and think about, well, how would I create that character? How would I do that design? Well, it's easy because actually you've done it. We do that practically in the studio first. We explore the play, we put on the play, we design the play, we create the characters, and then you know exactly what it is you're gonna write about when it comes to that exam. And the final bit of the exam, is a um, review of live theatre. Now that's been a little tricky this year. Um, so this year we've been able to review a live theatre performance that's been recorded and we've watched a, a performance of a live theatre review. But hopefully by the time you get to there, then theatres will be open again and we'll be able to go and see some plays um, and we'll be able to review live theatre that way. But that's the final part of the exam. So just to sum up, your qualification in drama can be as practical performance-wise or it can be based on design or it can be a combination of the two. It's assessed on your devised piece, which is 40%, on your um, performance from script with a visiting examiner, which is 20%, and then the final exam, which is about that play you've studied in full and about a piece that you've been to see at the theatre, which is the final 40%. I really look forward to seeing you next year.